Meet the politician who wants gay married people to protect their pot plants with their guns. This is The Independence. This is The Independence, and this is glorious. We heard a rumor that a young whippersnapper in Canada was creating quite a stir with a campaign ad. He's running for Parliament. It's not a cigarette. It's like their Congress up there. Tim Mullen came up with this slogan. It reads, I want married gay couples to be able to protect their marijuana plants with guns. He sounds awesome. A perfect St. Patrick's Day party. Uh, welcome to The Independence. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here, Dreamboat. So tell me, what does it mean <laughs> to be a libertarian in Canada, and how is that different from the American libertarian experience? Well, you know, I'm just finding that out. I thought I might be the only one in Canada, but it turns out there's a whole lot of us. Uh, you know, I raised my voice a couple weeks ago with that meme, and uh, it kind of went viral, and I'm, I'm finding out there's all sorts of libertarians out there. It sounds like people are ready for the message of liberty in Canada. Absolutely, and, and Canada, and, and Matt can point this out with mathematics, um, which will <laughs> soon be a segment here on The Independence, it is becoming a much freer place than these United States. I mean, you, you have, the Supreme Court has decided on health care, your dollar is doing much stronger, and people seem to be embracing economic liberty. Are they ready to embrace a libertarian parliamentarian? Well, well, that remains to be seen. You know, my, my goal here is not so much to uh, get votes as it is to connect with hearts and minds and just deliver a message. This is kind of an outreach program is how it started. You know, some people approached me and said, look at all the things that Ron Paul did for the liberty movement in the United States. And uh, they convinced me that I should put my name forward. And so I did. And so now we're finding out. Um, whether people are ready for a parliamentarian that's libertarian, I'm not sure yet, but you know, this riding is one of the most important ridings in North America. Uh, we're at the epicenter of the oil sands production, and of course, uh, that makes us at the epicenter of all sorts of political ideologies, all sorts of people wanting to have power over this resource. So, you know, on one hand, we have kind of the corporatist oligarchies, oligarchies uh, competing with the socialists, and I look at them as one end of the spectrum, and there, there hasn't really been a voice for liberty. And uh, libertarianism uh, has a lot to say about environmentalism and land stewardship and how to, how to uh, steward this resource properly and look at, at uh, you know, for example, Aboriginal peoples and, and the fact that they're having their property rights trampled on. So, uh, you know, I think we have a lot to say and I think that the world's attention is on our riding right now and it's important that the message of liberty uh, be spoken up there. Let's talk about that slogan because it distills so much in so few words. How long did it take you to write this wonderful statement? You know, I, I can't actually take credit for it. Uh, someone on my campaign team found that on the internet somewhere. I'm not <laughs> sure who came up with it originally. And I thought that's perfect. That exactly sums up uh, what we're trying to do in a very short sentence. You know, it, it both pisses off conservatives and liberals equally and it draws them in equally. Uh, there's a message there for everyone. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of where we see our, our strength. We're not partisan. We, we're for civil liberties. We're for the individual. We're not for conservatives. We're not for liberals. We're for the individual. So uh, that's who we're fighting for here. In the United States, protracted military conflicts, NSA spying, and, and a lot of spending are all animating this, this uh, organic libertarian energy. What do you think you'll need for things to really catch on in the United States? I'm sorry, in Canada. Or in the United States. Hell, I love his ideas to catch on here. Romania, Tim? whatever. <laughs> well, you know, you know, a lot of, a lot of the things that uh, I think are attracting people to this message right now is the incredible amount of wealth that my community generates. And the people come from all over the world to dig in the dirt and develop a resource that's important to the world and brings value to the world. And they're getting trampled on constantly by environmentalists and, and political ideologues. And a lot of their wealth goes to other provinces, have not provinces. Uh, and, and people are kind of tired of having this high tax rate and having all the work that they do go to support people uh, living off their, the, the means of their production.
All right. Well, Tim, we will be following your race. Uh, this is obviously the beginning of something big and hopefully very popular in Canada. And best of luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. Tim Moen. Hot. All right. Same